Hello everybody, what is up? It's your boy Pablo from Gema, back at you again with another video, this time for N-Cycle Barca, so I wanted to do some analysis of it, because we just had a tournament last Sunday, February 3, and it was pretty good, it was Cycle 3 on the latest patch, which is Cycle.05, or Cycle 05, as whatever you want to call it. So, I think it was pretty interesting from all perspectives, and I would like to go into them so you guys can understand a little bit of how um, the player versus player in N-Cycle goes, I think it's pretty fun. And it's actually quite radical and very, very much, much different from what I expected coming from a BAL network. So, without further ado, let's go. First off, I would just like to show the packs that I ran on for that tournament, just so you guys can have some perspective. So, I ran two packs mainly. One was uh, this one, Techno Tuesday, which has... Stinger, Tactics, and Courage. I love the way the game describes the different packs, by the way. I think it's dope. So it's basically like RT, which is electric based, with everything styled as an electric element attack. And the idea is that you want to use Alex Soul, which is over here. And then you just basically use everything else you may have to get more gauge and also recover HP. So yeah, I think it's pretty nice, um, though I would say that it misses swap, so it's really not that competitive because I think swap might be kind of necessary, at least for objects or something, but that's just me. And you know, you can also not use swap, but I just think it would be better to run it instead of LX hole. But this folder is fun, so I just wanted to try it out. And so yeah, uh, besides that, sorry. I don't remember my keyboard controls. Okay, got it. I also ran two, which was um, basically the same. Slight differences, um, mainly with some extra attacks, but it's basically to offset the difference in damage versus, I don't know, wood styled souls that you would use against someone like RT. So if they use that, you just switch to Sofa So Good, which is wood based. And that helps with damage reduction. But it's not really that word. I didn't use my actual folder, so I think uh, it would have been best to run this one. I think this one is currently my best. But that's it. Anyways, now with those folders in mind, we can move on to the actual battle. This might be fun, so let's, dive, let's dig into it. Alright. So, this is Grand Finals. Getting everything ready, intro background, no music off, putting on the Battle Network music, as it's gotta be. First off, um, I was playing on a keyboard, I usually play on a controller, so I was kind of messed up on muscle memory, but I was still trying to use the best that I could. So, uh, with a little bit of a, a little bit of, of thought into what the pack was, as I was shown previously, the idea here is basically to take ownership of the center and immobilize, roll the opponent, so you can just uh, basically spam attacks on them and kill them as fast as you can, right? So here I get the Rodok, but he... he does uh, LD does something pretty interesting here, so he puts the, the bomb there, so I really can go forward. I can hit one time with the push, but then that's it, or else I would have to take the damage, which gives me enough time to get bar and swap out with the object, that's why I said I think swap is very important. If he, if he, would, if he didn't have that, he would have been dead, but he was there. So yeah, here I try once again, Using the dance to push the object forward, my my man messes up there. It was a pool, it was a pool object uh, mine, and then I just capitalized something at the end. You can see there that I just chased after him. Yeah, and he his guard also was a little um, late, so you can see there like let's let's look at it like frame by frame. Yeah, so here. I pull out the dance, he pulls out the guard, but you can see that my attack came out first. So, yeah. There, dance comes out, guard's about to come out. So, I was told that um, guard is frame 1 on activation, so I'm not sure when the activation actually occurs for the shield. So, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's when it hit. I think it actually didn't finish uh, growing, maybe, the shield. Not sure, but yeah. Anyways, the, the attack came out first, so either way, it was GG. And also, um, so far, competitive and cycle bars tournament sets have been 3 out of 5, but for finals, we've done best to 5. So this is currently, uh, first to 5, sorry. 
The first to five wins. Now I have got one win on my side. Once again, coming with the pleasure. LD stepping back. He goes for the send with the gathering. Uses neutralize to take back some area. Does it again. Gotta watch out though because neutralize is a level two BOC. So he's basically wasting two or three bars when he tries to do that. Polish just with the big sword. I try to go for the for the hold L, trying to mix him up. He goes for the front, so he really doesn't think about it, but now he's gonna repair, yeah. Repair is level two and does a cross shape in front of where you are. Sorry, where starting where you are. He gets his cube. I get the roadlock. Ooh, hit him just as his cube comes out. That's crazy. So yeah, you can see the dance coming out. And he yeah, you can see when when you use ice cube after you already put one on the field it makes the one that's already on the field um, explode or well, go away so that you can spawn a new one you can only have one ice cube in your field at least of your ownership so yeah he was trying to go for that but he ate the ice cube man that was a lot of damage so here I got the low rock again he goes for the center, which is a smart choice. He's putting pressure on me, so I really can uh, try and do something like the ice cube or something. So I have to move move away. Here I'm stepping back. I'm not. Re it's not really good that you step back here. Like I'm pretty predictable in my defense. I should keep up with the movement there, because then he can just go forward and punish on the center. Here we see the. Okay, so I so I avoid the gathering because of the ice cube. And then push him, punish him. Oh, he wanted to go for the dance as well. Maybe he wanted to get the bounce. But he didn't get it on time. Here I went for the ice cube all the way forward instead of using the dance because I wanted to have the gauge to hit. And either way, I still didn't have enough time to punish. He got out with the swap once again. Fighting back with the gatherings. Having make forcing me to step away from the center. As you can see, center is very important in this game, and I think in most Street Fighters, you know, the same thing applies to Bot Network. Here, it was just the punishment. He had to move diagonally here, and he messed up with the swap because, yeah, I was gonna go for the dance, so he ate the dance and the object. But yeah, center ownership is just so, so important in Grid Fighters. And it's also why I think one step for me and also does a pretty good job at it because it changes the dynamic by having four rows instead of three, you know. You can't have center ownership like that. You can still do some movement shenanigans, but it really changes the game. However, this is end cycle, baby, so we are 2-0 right now. LD fighting back with the panel graphs. That's what you gotta do, man. You gotta fight it out, man. But here, I'm challenging it. And I still have the liberty of mixing him up, LD trying to go for the offense, using the big sword and the two gatherings. Once again, using the center, trying to push it away. LD knows that he has to keep that space because the, the object could be put there and that would be an issue. But his movement messed him up there and he ate the attack ice cube. That's a lot of damage, you gotta watch out for that man. I try and go for that again, but I get the road dog. Here I'm not in a position to use my dance, so I was forced to change for the gathering. However, LD gave me an opening by using the the cube, how I was too slow and ate the cube myself he gets back gets in the grey panel just before I managed to land my panel grab ooh but he steps up and I I catch him mid swap and that burns his 2 meters so he basically is stuck there and I capitalize and I kill gets a second swap though, not down yet nice LD, staying alive Tough situation though. Ooh. Okay. Pressure in the middle. Drawing out the gallons. He's got the movement reads. Me, I'm stepping back. Bad defense. Sending out some cheapers just to threaten the center. Changing the cube. Ooh, bad cube positioning. Forcing two meters. So yeah, I messed up in my cube positioning there. I wanted to put it in the center, I think. And I put it that up there. So. That's basically four bars, man, so not a good look, but still alive. Getting the area lock. Panels, once again, can do dances because of the positioning. Neutralize coming in. Staying alive, one, but yeah, he's doing a good job in this game of using the panel grabs to at least limit the lands. 
sure you can still hit with the chipper or maybe the gatling but i think lance is more powerful i'm not sure though i'm not really aware of the damage differences but i think lance could be harder to yeah, it's gonna be tougher. Ooh, bad look there by LD. Missed my train of thought there, but that brought me back on track, man. LD messed up there. I don't know why he tried to do that. I had enough time to react, but I'm also not aware of if I was just moving around because of it. And yeah, he was forced to take the hit. So that's 3 0 now. Still alive though. So here, um, I want to add additional context, so I already said that it was the first to five, but here, um, whoever loses each round can change sides in the battlefield. So you can see I'm in the red side and he's on the blue side. You don't really, um, there's no really, there's actually a red side and a blue side in this game. So in Battle Network, usually you're always on the left side, on the red side, but here, uh, there's actually like a fighting game, which someone starts on the left and one starts on the right, and if you lose a round, you can change what place you start from. You can also change packs, so you can go into two packs each tournament. It's similar to Battle Network tournaments in that you can use two folders. And the pack consists of 12 BOCs and a character. That's why you saw me having one character in one pack and a second one in the other, right? I changed music, I changed to two of Braves, I love this track. Also LD doesn't change sides, but he changes packs. You have to let the other person know that you're changing. We already see the difference. He's using Flurry now. And Rush Short. Gotta watch out here. Dodging the second ro dodging the second Rush Short. Ooh, okay. The Sand Hole. Ooh, Pull Sand Hole. No, sorry. Pull Ice Peel. That's crazy. Hitting the trap. Flurry misses though. That's too bad. Flurry's pretty good, but... It can miss, so that's an issue. Flame burst, not burning though. Gathering from a distance, don't really have to be that far, you know, but it's all good. No defense, Getting, going for the region. So in Cyclo 5, region is a set 10%. Uh, level 1 region is 10% of HP over 50 seconds. Level 2 is 12.5% over 15 seconds and level 3 is 15% over the same amount, 15 seconds. So, uh, um, Regen really got nerfed, I think. Uh, it was way too potent when the game had just gone out. But I think it's it's still usable right now. Uh, level 1 Regen seems to be the most worked for me, at least for characters that have over 1000 HP. I think it works worse for them because you know a spark or like a bombard uh bombarda wouldn't really uh, benefit from spending uh one gauge just for like 80 or 70 hp however with rt you can use that you know it's 120 that's nice and here oh yeah i actually forgot about this situation i think there's something really interesting to talk about so you see that he has the flip ice cube here he's basically roadlocked uh he can move back he, on, he can only push the flip cube forward, so if that hits me, if he were to use lens on that flip ice cube, that will heal me for 300 damage. So obviously he doesn't want to do that. Here he could move diagonally, which is also a big difference about network, that you can do that. Uh, but he decides not to, so I take the chance, and I go for the panel grab. I don't mind that he heals, and I just go and spam my lances. Yeah, that's basically it. I also got the liberty of spamming an Exol too. So an Exol gave me an extra dance, I think, because you get like 25% of a gauge each time you use an elemental BOC when an Exol is active. So yeah. 4-0, LD decides to change his pack. And now we have game number 5. So if I win this, it's game. Not sure what's gonna happen though, We're going for the center. Putting the cube there. Ooh, but I get hit by it for the dance. Road dog, but the swap, nice, I like that. Good positioning as well. Making it push back to the to the other side. Respawning the cube. Got the got the road dog now. 
Have to go for the swap. Challenges the lance. That's nice. Gatling. And the panel once again. Oh, this is rough for LD, man. Too much pressure, man. There's too much hit. I'm nervous, man. I'm also playing on the keyboard, man. I'm not sure why I'm doing the dances there. I'm also trying to get the read on his swap. You know, he wants to go for the swap, so I'm trying to punish it, but yeah, I'm not getting it. Missing once again. He waits for it. Swaps back again. That's nice. Doing the cube in the front again because I don't want to spend three bars instead of two. Missing. Oh, just, do just dodged it barely, man. That was crazy. Okay, get the swap. LD fighting back, man. Oh, but he gets hit in the face, man. Gotta watch out here. He has to use defense. He has to use regen or heal. But he moves away. That's nice. LD staying alive, man. 550 HP to 265. This is changing, man. Low HP on both sides. Gotta watch out. Dude, super low HP, man. This is way too dangerous, man. No one's healing, man. The battle is just raging on. Gets hit with the Gatling. Gotta watch out here. Going for the the low rock. The sorry, the lowest rock. The lowest row, I meant. Getting the opportunity to heal, yeah. So he, because he can step back, so you can use take that opportunity to heal yourself. You don't always have to go for the center, you know. Owning a row by itself is just way too powerful. And as you can see, yeah, just taking a moment, trying to avoid LD is trying to. Capitalize on it though, he's trying to get that uh, big sword but misses. I step up and eat some of the gathering there. But now there's just too much area on my side, man. Area ownership is so huge. And you guys may wonder why are you using panel grab instead of area grab? It's just that panel grab is just too strong, man. It's level 1, area grab is level 3, and it's just a row. Ooh, and it's just a column, so not really worth. Instead, here you can use those three gauges and take ownership of an entire row, which is dope. So here, um, LD actually gets the opening. He was on the offense, and I was eating the gatherings. I go for the Alex soul, trying to be cheeky, make, taking the opportunity. Ooh, but I, I'm, I'm just getting hit too much, man. Crush, man. Still alive, though. Spamming panel grabs to get that plus 10 HP difference. Ooh, LD, why are you typing, bro? You're just leaving yourself wide open. Low HP on both sides. Getting the big sword again. LD is punishing. He's aware that I have to step forward. So he's trying to punish that. Making me step back. Also forcing me off the center with the gathering. Great job. They're neutralized all the way to the back, man. LD's got area. He can do stuff. But will he? Will he? It's too much, man. Ooh. The keyboard mistakes, hitting, hitting repair instead of region, wasting two bars, damn, that's rough, man. The pool crusher. Gotta watch out here. Oh man, LD super aware of the center stuff. Also making me lose the bars because if I use the ice cube there, I lose the bars and I don't get the ice cube because he's there. In place. Getting area back, changing heals. There's just too much area now, man. That's too much sauce. LD wouldn't neutralize. Okay. Keeping the back. Oh, the swap there, the mix up. But the panel, okay, gets counted with the panel repair. Oh, gotta watch out here, man. That's too much. That's too little area, man. Gets the roadlock. Is this it? Will this be it? The read on the on the way up. Oh man, this might be it. Gotta watch out because of the lens and the ice cube. That's G G, bro. I remember I was wearing a headset. Yeah, I, I threw it. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, man. GGs. Damn, that was a 5-0. Might be. So there you have it, guys. So you might think, yeah, panographs is strong. I think panographs is strong as well, but. One big issue I think that should be considered is that um, LD wasn't really fighting back with his panel grabs. He had panel grab in the pack, we saw it, but he wasn't really using it himself as much. And that's what you gotta do when you face someone that has very aggressive battle play. You have to contest it, you have to fight back. 
Area ownership is big in every grid fighter, man. I think it transcends just battle network. I think it, you know, it, it applies to every grid fighter. So that's one big thing you must take away from this. You can think panel grab is broken, but hey, have you fought back against the panel grab? Think that through. And I really hope that you get the chance to play in Cycle Barsas and I really enjoyed this video. Um, English is not my native language, but I try to do my best because I really love the, uh, Grip Fighters, I love this genre, and I really love Encycle, so I want to support the game because it's pretty dope. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I upload Grip Fighter videos daily, so be sure to check out for more analysis, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Later. Peace! Sobres.